Hello Hunters, here are the updated status builds for Title Update 5. The overall strength of these builds has not changed very much since Title Update 4. These sets mostly benefit from increased ease of use, with sharpness management being handled almost completely by Heavensent. That being said, we will have Exhaust, Blast, Grinderous, and Status Trigger Poison and Paralyze. So there's a ton to go over here, so let's get right into it. These sets make use of the new very powerful talismans, as well as heavy use of the new attack boost for and critical eye for decorations available at Anomaly rank 241. So these are very much builds that you would progress towards from Title Update 4. So if you are behind, I have previous Title Update sets on my channel that may be a little bit easier to make. Especially considering that Anomaly rank points have been accelerated considerably in Title Update 5. You get 4 times as many points up to Anomaly rank 200, and 3 times as many points between 200 and 220. The talisman I will have that is used for all builds will be an attack boost 3 talisman with 3 level 2 slots. I was able to obtain this relatively easily using a new cyclist melding option targeting attack boost. Of course, talismans can be pretty incredible right now, but I wanted to use one that is easier to obtain in the build templates. So do use your own and adjust if you have a really good talisman. Build up boost is still not available as a decoration, so these sets will suggest to augment in 3 levels of build up boost. I have found with the ridiculous amount of essences awarded at the current anomaly tier, I did not have too much trouble getting build up boost in with the skills plus augment. You will see that these builds have a lot of room for skills, so augmenting something out for build up boost is not really a big deal. You can also get build up boost off of your charms, but I personally have not gotten a single one with build up boost yet. Okay, so let's talk about what's new for these builds. First, Heaven Scent. These builds will make use of Heaven Scent, a new skill on the Amatsu armor set. At level 1, Heaven Scent activates after being close to a monster for 30 seconds. When active, swapping scrolls recovers 50 points of sharpness. In addition, damage is reduced by 50% when you get hit next. Heaven Scent is deactivated when you take damage and are knocked over, or if you get too far away from the monster. At level 2, Heaven Scent will activate after 15 seconds instead of 30, significantly reducing the time to activate it. At level 3, Heaven Scent will also award infinite sharpness and stamina. In addition, swapping scrolls will also remove and reduce status ailments. From my own playtesting, I found this works pretty well with status switch axes, since most have a decent amount of sharpness before dropping a level. 15 seconds is not a long time, and as soon as you obtain Heaven Scent, you can perform a scroll swap to max out your sharpness again, effectively no longer needing a whetstone and just sharpening by swapping scrolls. I just run the same switch skills on both scrolls, and as an added bonus, if you don't get hit, you have infinite sharpness. But honestly, from my perspective, swapping scrolls that regain 50 sharpness is basically infinite as it is, with how quick scroll swapping is, and you don't even need to sheath the scroll swap. When Heaven Sent activates, do remember to scroll swap to top off your sharpness in case you lose Heaven Sent. On Switch Axe, we have the Wire Step and the Burst Counter as defensive options to not get hit, but also, Intrepid Hard will also add another layer of protection for maintaining Heaven Sent. In addition, when we do get hit, Heaven Sent reduces that damage by 50%. So combined with Intrepid Heart level 2, which reduces damage by 90%, we can't have two significant damage shields that regenerate over time. And with infinite stamina, the build has the opportunity to make use of maximum might, awarding 30% affinity at level 3 when stamina is full. I did not find too much issue with maintaining Heaven Scent, but if you do feel like it's not worth it, you can just swap the maximum might for Critical Eye. These builds will also make use of Frenzied Bloodlust and Bloodlust. When overcoming the Frenzy, Frenzied Bloodlust will award an additional wire bug, allowing you to have up to 4. Though it is worth noting that if you sheath, this wire bug is almost immediately lost. This is largely a nice to have and doesn't really change things a ton on Switch Axe. The reason it is in the build is simply because the Shigara Waste is very good and Bloodlust is a very powerful skill on its own. Overcoming the Frenzy awards 20 affinity, but also triggers Coalescence, which will increase raw as well as status applied. If you are not a fan of Bloodlust because of the health strain, I also have versions without it. A thing to remember is that swapping scrolls at level 3 of Heaven Scent will reduce the Bloodlust gauge. This is something that could happen when finding any of the Megalas, but also remember that swapping to recover any statuses will also activate a Coalescence. Before we get into the first build, a shout out to the GamerCat Set Builder website. They have build screenshots which saved me a lot of time for these build showcases, and I've happily donated for their awesome work. I want to stress that these are templates, and I encourage you to adjust things around to your preference. 
For example, I include Wirebug 3 in the builds, but if you don't prefer that, switch it out. You will notice that there may be empty and decoration slots in the templates. These are completely up to you, as a majority of essential skills are already filled out. These can also be used to replace skills that were lost from the Skills Plus augment. In addition, the builds make use of maximum might, due to the infinite stamina given from Heaven Sent level 3. But if you feel like your uptime for Heaven Sent isn't all that great, feel free to just switch it to Critical Eye instead. Each build strives for 100% affinity. 20% is given from Overcoming the Frenzy from Bloodlust. Each point of maximum might gives 10% affinity. And for poison builds, 3 points of foray gives 20% affinity. Male Foulfire is also a powerful skill without a decoration. It's quite good if you're comfortable with the defense loss. Just remember to swap back to red if you ever swap to blue, as blue scroll does not do anything for status builds. It is worth noting that as defense gets higher, the impact of male Foulfire in regards to how much damage you take becomes reduced. If you are having trouble with getting build-up boost, you can use the Risen Camellios gloves instead in these builds, but you will be dropping one point of Heaven Sent. So all these sets will use the same armor, with the Risen Teostra head, Matsu body, hands, and legs, and the Risen Chigara waist. The spots that I put build-up boost augments in is also optional, so you can choose whichever slot you like to augment it in. So for Exhaust, you can see that even with all the skills in the build, there is still plenty of room to fit in other skills you need or may have lost from the skills plus augments. I personally like to slot in Adrenaline Rush 3, as I always run Wire Step, but that's also up to you. I add Handicraft to this build to increase the buffer before and if you lose Heaven Sent. I have found that 30 hits of sharpness is plenty. With Overcome Frenzy, 2 Maximum Might, 2 Critical Eye and Weakness Exploit, this results in 100% affinity. For Weapon Augments, it's just all attack. Note that the most recent augments add 10 additional sharpness. For the Rampage slot, Anti-Species should do more damage, but I prefer Foul Switch Boost just with comfort. If you don't prefer Bloodlust, I have a set here too, that uses the Risen Gamelios Waste instead. For Blast, you can see that the build is the same, except there are more slots available. If you like Defiance, you can just slot in the level 4 Defiance decoration. These Power Foul status builds do a bit more damage than Exhaust, but don't have the flinches or the KOs. If you like status trigger, you can now just slot it in with a level 4 status trigger decoration. For weapon augments, get one rampage slot upgrade and the rest into attack. Slot file switch boost for the rampage decoration. And here is the no bloodlust version. Next the grinder S build. This uses a lucent Nurkakuga switch axe and only 2 points of heaven sent. The idea with this build is to drain sharpness down to blue sharpness and scroll swap to recover sharpness. This sharpness recovery counts towards Grinder S, providing an additional 10% damage. I found that I am able to keep Grinder S up all the time with this build, but it does require more aggressive play to do so. Here's the standard build, as well as the non-Bloodlust build. This build does not deal a lot of status damage, but with Grinder S active, it does deal the highest possible raw damage. For augments, I choose to raise the Rampage slot to level 3, so I can slot in file switch boost. Next, my favorite build, the Evade Poison. This build uses Status Trigger and Wire Step to maintain Poison on the target for foray. Poison length is doubled with Camellio's Blessing, and the very high amount of Poison on the Thanatol Serpent Switch Axe makes it pretty reasonable to keep the monster poisoned for the entire hunt. Evade focused builds are particularly good with Heaven Scent as the whole point is to not get hit for evade bonuses, but now it also helps maintain Heaven Scent for maximum might and maintaining infinite sharpness. And once again, the non-bloodless version. These builds are a little bit tighter, so if you can't fit everything, don't worry too much. You can just drop some attack boost. For augments, go all attack, and once again, slot and file switch boost. By far, this build will do the most status damage across all the builds. Last but not least, the Evade Paralyze build. This is the same idea as Evade Poison, but cannot take advantage of Foray the same way. The goal is to apply as much Paralyze status as possible with status trigger and cash in on big damage while the monster is paralyzed. Be careful with monster resistances here, as some targets have very high resistances to paralyze. This build has similar use cases as Exhaust, having a single stun per hunt, but it is likely to get multiple paralyzes every hunt with a paralyzed build. And once again, the non-bloodlust version. I think paralyze in this way is pretty good even if you only get a couple paralyzes. The amount of damage that is dealt when the monster is immobilized is very significant, especially in multiplayer. For augments, augment the rampage slot and the rest to attack, and for the rampage slot, put in file switch boost. This video took a lot longer than I thought it would take, but I quite like how the sets feel now with Heaven Sent. Work for Title Update 5 continues with updated element sets, which will be very similar or very different depending on the talisman you're able to get. 
As always, thanks for watching this video. Leave a like if you found it helpful or like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any content. I'll see you in the next one, hunters. Take care.